We will now look at measures of precision. The first one is the p-value. P-value is the likelihood or probability of the observed effect to have occurred by chance. In research, the arbitrary level at which P is set is less than 0.05. In other words, there is a less than 1 in 20 probability that the observed effect would have occurred by chance. This gives us a measure of statistical significance. Here is a 2 by 2 table in a study looking at the association of middle ear disease with schizophrenia. The odds ratio is 3.75. We'll cover odds ratio later, but let's assume that this is a significant number. How can we be sure if it is statistically significant or not? That's when the p-value comes in. It tells us that there is a less than 1 in 20 or 5% probability that this observed odds ratio was due to chance. The p-value of less than 0.05 means that the result is statistically significant. The other method of precision is the confidence interval. Confidence intervals provide a range within which the observed effect would lie. It is calculated from the standard error of mean, which is standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. It thus gives us a range of uncertainty. The 95% confidence interval, or CI, is the most commonly used in hypothesis testing that is, two standard deviations on either side of the observed value. It is the range of values between which we can be 95% confident that the true value lies. To put it simply, if we perform the same test 100 times, the true value of the variable being investigated would, on 95 occasions out of 100, be between the range of values as shown by the confidence interval. In this example, looking at the association between middle ear disease and schizophrenia, we see that the confidence intervals for the observed odds ratio are between 1.59 and 8.59. This tells us that we can be 95% confident that the true odds ratio lies between the values of 1.59 and 8.59. The odds ratio is statistically significant, as it does not cross the line of no effect, which is 1. The value of no effect is 1 for ratios and 0 for differences. There are two simple steps to find out if the confidence intervals are statistically significant. Find out the value of no effect, and see if the confidence interval crosses the line of no effect. If yes, then the result is not statistically significant.